is up you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to our cruise vlog so we just got on we just un well we haven't even unpacked as you can see our suitcases are still down there in the corner but we are able to come into our stateroom so yes. we are sharing a cabin the boys are literally in a cabin right next door to us but we're going to unpack and get settled in and then I think we're going to go up and do the sail away party. So we are doing Freedom of the Seas in Fort Lauderdale, a seven night cruise, the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, and St. Thomas. So very excited. It's a Reese's first cruise. Yes. It's also Talon's first cruise. So you'll see all of us on the cruise vlog, but we're going to go ahead and unpack. So I just finished getting ready for dinner. It's 4.30. So we basically went, we got our little drink, like soda cups. We did our muster station and then we unpacked and then we went up on the main deck where like the pool and windjammer are and had a drink and we sat down and within like five minutes it downpoured. So we had to scramble back in. We walked around a little bit, um, went down through the promenade and then came back to our rooms. The boys kind of like napped and watched golf in their room. Reese and I kind of chilled on the bed. I have been battling like a little sinus headache all day, like in the back of my neck. I deal with that so often. It's really, really annoying, but I kind of laid my head down for a little bit. And then I thought a shower would help. So I took a really hot shower and it helped a little bit, but I still have a little bit of a headache. The rest of the crew went ahead and they just got ready. They didn't want to take showers. So they got ready for dinner and then they went up to the top deck because at four o'clock was sail away and sail away party. We did that on our honeymoon, but the kids, this is their first cruise. So I wanted them to experience like sail away um, because it's a cool thing to, to experience. So I stayed back and showered and got ready. So I'm done. So what I'm probably gonna do is go ahead and head up find where they're sitting at um you can like chat with like your group in the um royal caribbean app so i text rye um let's see if he'll respond if not i'll text race maybe race will respond and try to see if I can find them and then we'll go meet up with them. Our dining is um, at 5.15 every night. Ryan and I did eight o'clock dining on our honeymoon and we found like we just had too much downtime in the room. We'd come back like around five or six and then we would just like chill and then we'd be too tired to even want to go do anything. So I thought this time we'll go ahead and do the earlier dining, the 5.15, and that way we're not like sitting in the room too long. We're just showering, getting ready, and going back out. So we don't like crash in the room um, because I really want to enjoy doing stuff on the ship with everyone. There's tons more stuff to do on the ship. We did the grandeur out of Tampa, and it's very small, very older for our honeymoon, which was perfect for our honeymoon. We didn't need like all the fancy bells and whistles, but for this one, it's much bigger. It's got tons more to do for family. So I want to go do that with the kids. So um, we, I'm not sure what we'll get into after dinner, but I'm going to bring you guys with me and I'll show you guys what we do. But yeah, I'm hoping, I'm guessing that the weather cleared up because it was, if it was still raining, they wouldn't be out on the deck watching the sail away. So we're going to see what they say and we'll go find them and kind of just hang out before dinner. I'm also going to take you to dinner with me so you guys can see what we get and if we like it.
is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown Turn you guys around so you can see. Is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring on my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds When I return from my skin and bones I'm remembering the words you told me Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone It's actually been about two days since we've been back home in South Carolina. Um, that was the longest I have ever stayed away from Ridge. So I really just wanted to, hold on, let me just set you guys on the table because we are going to chat for a minute. Okay, um, that was definitely the longest I have been away from Ridge. So I definitely wanted to just give him some extra quality time. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and just focus on getting up my cruise pack and prep with me video up for you guys so you guys could go ahead and watch that so if you haven't checked that out it will be the video that came before this one but I just wanted to kind of go over a little bit of the cruise with you guys I asked you guys over on Instagram um, if there was any questions you had and of course a few of you did ask me some questions so um basically we went on freedom of the seas by royal caribbean it was a seven day caribbean cruise we went to perfect day at coco k which is royal caribbean's like private island in the bahamas we went to san juan puerto rico and then we went to saint thomas in the virgin Islands. so um it was me and rise second cruise but it was Talon and Reese's first cruise. Talon and Reese are the two teenagers. So 
Um, this is something we wanted to kind of try and see if they would enjoy it as much as we did. And of course they did. I actually asked them on our last dinner on the cruise. I asked them because they had gone to Jamaica and done all inclusive for, I think we did like a five or six nights all inclusive back in 2019. Um, so they were a little bit younger, but I asked if they preferred all inclusive or cruise and they definitely said by far cruise was a ton more fun. There's just so many kids that they met and became friends with um, from like all over, but then there were some that were like only like an hour away from us, which is crazy. Um, and so much more kid kind of activities. And then they also loved that they could see more islands instead of just like going and flying at one island and staying there so um i definitely recommend trying cruising if you haven't um i will say someone asked how the food was um i would say the dining room is by far my favorite we didn't pay for any of the extra restaurants but we did try to take full advantage when we could go to the dining room for breakfast. It's 1000 times better than the Windjammer, which is like their all day buffet, which is um, like in the mornings it's scrambled eggs, bacon, toast, you can make an omelet. They have tons of pastries, biscuits and gravy, fresh fruit. But the dining room, they have like eggs Benedict and French toast and um, they had this really good like vegetable um egg and goat cheese bowl that was so good i got it twice it was so so good um so just a little bit more nicer quality type of breakfast items for the dining room also the dining room for dinner was always phenomenal i did insert a few clips of some different entrees and appetizers and desserts we all got we all loved everything we ate um that was so i'd say the dining room is by far my favorite over anything else. There were Sorrentos on the promenade and the kids absolutely loved going to <laughs> Sorrentos and getting a slice of pizza or two like multiple times a day. Also, so did Rai. Um, but yeah, the one dreamer just like wasn't our favorite at all. There was also like this little cantina that was poolside and it was just like burritos, tacos, quesadilla, guac. Um, we tried that one time. The chicken tacos weren't that bad. Um, just the chips for the chips and guac were like super stale. So um, we won and done that that place. I'd much rather go to the dining room and put some clothes on or just go into the wind jammer with my bathing suit. But um, I also got asked about any excursions. The only excursion we did do is we booked a snorkel cruise in St. Thomas. So we got on, I think it was like a hundred and so dollars a person. Um, we got off the ship at two and got onto a boat and drove about 30 minutes on the boat to a little cove called Christmas Cove. Um, and they put us out in the water with all the snorkel gear so you don't have to like bring your own and got to see sea turtles, which has been on my bucket list for as long as I can remember. And I mean, I like core memory, like no joke, cried in the ocean. <laughs> They were just so beautiful. We saw eagle rays and we saw pretty much every, our guide came out in the water with us. She was a phenomenal, her name was Gigi. And she found like every fish from Finding Nemo for us. So that was super cool. There was also like an old shipwreck that we got to explore. Um, so we did that excursion. We didn't do anything in perfect day because I mean, you can pay to go in the water park, but we just wanted to chill that day. So we did like half the morning, um, and on the beach, which I did show you guys, there was these massive stingrays and then I was so bummed, but there were a ton of lemon sharks. If you go like right, be the first boat on perfect day of Coca Cola and you get off right at eight o'clock, there's sh like sharks that live around the island that are very native. They always say that they're very docile. Um, we actually, I experienced one while I was actually snorkeling pretty far out. Um, he came like right out of a shadow at me and I was so bummed because Rye had just taken the phone underneath the water and he was like recording. So I didn't have the phone, so I wasn't able to capture him, but that was like amazing. So we really wanted the kids to see some sharks. So they were extremely close, but when I, because I hadn't gotten in the water yet, I literally like took my phone and like went down and I was just trying to like film as he went by. I got a really good shot of the stingray and I 
just did not get a shot of the shark. I was so bummed I didn't have it at the right angle. So next time maybe, but um, that was really, really cool. So we spent like half the morning on the beach. The other half, we went to like the Cantina Grill, ate lunch, and then we did the huge pool with a huge pool bar. And we really liked that too. So we just chilled on perfect day at Coco Cay. And then San Juan, um, we poured it in at Old San Juan and um, I just heard there was like a lot of like pretty colorful buildings, a lot of old history there, really pretty cobblestone streets. So I just kind of wanted to get off and walk around and the family was totally fine with it. Um, we tried some local cuisine. We, of course, the three of us, because 18, you're allowed to drink. So Italian got his first legal drink in Puerto Rico. So um, I had to get like a cute picture. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I have posted a ton of pictures from our cruise and all of our adventures over there. So you have to go check them out. But um, we got pina coladas because that's like where they originated and just walked around and explored. It was the prettiest Caribbean city I've ever been to. Like every street had like beautiful colored buildings and I'll just like pop a few from Instagram that I took um, up here so you guys can kind of see some of them, but like it's so beautiful. Um, everyone was really nice. Um, it felt very clean and it felt very safe, I told Rai. So um, I definitely recommend getting off and just walking around the um, old San Juan. You really can't get lost. I mean, it kind of just makes a big circle. You can see the governor's mansion. You can see the old fort we went and toured. Um, we didn't pay to go inside, but you can walk around outside like on the ground. So we did that. And then it was pretty hot. So we were out there for about three hours and then we were like cooked. We were ready to get back on the ship and shower and either jump in the pool or just shower and just rest our feet. Um, and then that was it. So yeah, so the only excursion we did was snorkeling in St. Thomas. By far, highly recommend doing some kind of snorkeling in the BVI or USVI because that water is crystal clear. It's so pretty. It's the clearest water I've ever seen. So highly recommend that. Um, the only things I got was we were walking like back to our ship in San Juan and there was like a bunch of like little street vendors. And of course I saw like all the knockoff dupes and I have wanted the crossbody for forever. And of course it's just so hard to find like a dupe version and I saw it and there was only one. Grabbed it 60 bucks. I feel like it's a really good deal. She even like, made sure that I could zip it and unzip in it. And she actually gave me a bag for it. So I was very excited for my fake Louis crossbody. And then I always like to get like a shirt where we go. So I just found this cute little St. Thomas shirt. It's got like a little anchor and it's one of those comfort color distress. I just love the oversized. I can wear bike shorts or leggings or just like wear as a cover up to the pool. So the other things we got were, um, where I got like a beer koozie and then I like to get stickers um, wherever we go. So we got a bunch of stickers at all three places. But yeah, um, other than that, I just, it was so much fun. I miss it already. Um, the only person that got sick was Talon one day. I did pack Dramamine and Bonine and I ended up giving him Dramamine. Him and I went to the gym and it was pretty choppy. The, I mean, the ship was, that was probably the most rockiest that the ship was the whole entire time. And he did get a little nauseous. He didn't throw up or anything. He was just like, I gotta lay down, like I felt dizzy. So I gave him Dramamine, non-drowsy, and it knocked him on his butt. He was like, <laughs> Sleeped pretty much like 80% of that day on the ship and then like just would get up and eat some food and then he'd go back to sleep So I don't know if it was the nausea that knocked him out or if it was the medicine But after that he felt much better the next day and then he was fine, but no one else got sick or nauseous um, I will say that um, I definitely recommend like if you think you could possibly just go ahead and pack stuff, get the C-bands, Dramamine, Dramamine, Bonine, anything just to be on the safe side because you never know. You might think you won't get seasick, but if there's a day where it's storming or whatever and the ship is like kind of moving a lot, you can, I mean, you can easily get sick. So I recommend doing that. Also, you know, just eating food that like you're not used to eating. I did get bloated a few times. Just your body's not used to eating that kind of food. 
Um, so I just recommend like bringing that kind of stuff. But other than that, we had so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed like seeing all the footage. I really just wanted to take you through kind of just a little glimpses of every day, every minute that we took on the ship and off the ship and just put it to some relaxing, cool Caribbean music. And you guys just sit back and relax and just pretend that you're in the, on a Caribbean cruise with us. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. But um, yeah, I, I'm trying to think. I think the next couple of vlogs are gonna be some like home, cozy, fall type vlogs. I kind of want to get into that vibe even though we leave literally in 10 days for Disney. <laughs> so I'm like half ready for vacation again and then half like ready for fall. So, um, which both I'll take. So um, I'm trying to think, I think this weekend, I wanna do like a weekend fall vlog with you guys. I know we're gonna be watching some football. So I wanna make some fall food, maybe go to Trader Joe's and do all that kind of fun stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it gave you guys some tips and tricks on taking a cruise if you were thinking about it or anything like that. But if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate. You can leave a comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram, follow me over there. But with all that being said, I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.